Welcome to another episode of Mexican in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you a snack that's very easy when you have people coming over or you have to bring a snack. We only need some marmalade, strawberry is my favorite, some chipotle sauce and some cream cheese. We need a bowl or a container where we are going to make our mix. And I'm using this chipotle sauce from Pirka. If you have uh, canned chipotles, you might want to chop them or blend them together so you have a paste or a sauce instead of the whole chunks. And I'm going to add some of my marmalade here. Again, you can use whatever flavor you want. There's some other flavors that work really nice. I think raspberry works really nice, or maybe some apricot might work. But in my taste, these are the flavors that go together the nicest. Now we only have to mix our ingredients. You wanna smash it a bit with the spoon so you don't have huge chunks of marmalade. Some marmalades have chunks of the fruit or maybe if you have the canned chipotles you will have chunks of chili. So you want to mix everything as much as you can because that will mix the flavors and you will get always this even flavor. And at this point it's when you want to taste your sauce. You don't want it to be too spicy. It depends on what you like, of course, you can make it a bit more spicy, a bit more sweet. If maybe there's some people that don't eat so much chili, you can add some more marmalade and make it a bit more sweet. So this is to your taste, just make sure the flavor is right. Now here I have my uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use any other brand, but I've noticed the consistency of this cheese makes it a bit easier to handle. And also I prefer the taste and texture. So you're going to take either a spoon or a knife and you're going to try to go all the way around. What we want to do is to bring the cheese as a chunk and we don't want to mess with it a lot because you could also use a spoon and just take everything out but it gives a bit of a nicer presentation if, you, if we can manage to get the whole cheese as a chunk. Once you manage to get the cheese out you can of course use the same spoon to make it look as even as possible and it doesn't have to be perfect you can shape it a bit but anyway the sauce will cover it and it won't show so much so just make sure it doesn't have like big holes or gaps just use your spoon a bit give it a nice shape in my case I think this is quite even already it looks quite symmetrical so I'm just gonna leave it there now the last step is just cover it with our sauce and this sauce has a really nice texture. It has some of the sweetness of the jam, the strawberry taste, and then it will have a bit of a kick with the chipotle and also a bit of the savory side. So it's a really, really nice flavor. It's very complex to the palate. Like you will feel a couple steps coming in, first the sweet, then the spice, a bit of the kick. And it just mixes so well that it's the perfect snack because it's going to be ready in just a few minutes and most people will like it. For serving I will put some crackers on the side, you might eat it with toast with some kind of bread but I find that the crunchiness of the crackers bring a really nice aspect to it. Then you will cut with a butter knife some of the cheese, place it on your cracker, make sure you have some of this sauce next to it and you have a lot of the texture of the cream cheese, the crunchiness, the flavors from the combination. It's really nice, really, really good and extremely simple. This is a very simple snack. I really like it. I hadn't even think about it for a while, but this is something my mom used to do every single time we had someone coming over because it's something you can make in five minutes. So it's very simple. Hope you like it. The flavors are awesome and try it at home, it's very simple, next time you have a gathering. I know that people like it for sure, I've made it here for some friends and they all loved it. So try it at home, press like, uh, press subscribe, activate the bell, all those things, and see you in the next one.